um, let's see, he's on with us. So, Ida, we miss you. Louise, Louis. <laughs> So when you guys actually show up to one of these, you'll get to open up new acquisitions never seen before, even by me, the curator himself. This is really heavy. I wonder what this is. And packaged so strangely. I'm glad you guys didn't get this one. This one is really hard to open. It's strange. And of course, once again, I'm cutting towards my belly because I like snuff films. <laughs> So this one is a film. There you go, snuff film. Probably not a snuff film. This one is Jacques Cousteau. Wow. <laughs> How cool is that? This is a reel of Jacques Cousteau stuff. And if you don't know Jacques Cousteau, he was the guy that taught all of us about scuba diving and fish and water conservation and all that. Uh, Coral Reef, uh, narrated by, oh my God, did you see? His son. Rod Serling. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Narrated by Rod water. Serling mm -hmm. of Twilight Zone. I can't believe that is amazing. <laughs> That's why I got that one. <laughs> now I know why. Um, so this one is Farm Toledo, Toledo Picnics. Wow, that's interesting. It must be one of these kind of uh, bouncing ball ones that I always get. Uh, this one is. Uh, that's the beginning of the movie. Ooh. Movie Pests. Oh, this is another Paul Smith. Ira opened up more Paul Smiths. This is people in a movie theater like this that keep interrupting everybody. What? Yeah. What? Who? Where? Where? And this one, oh, this what one is, is a, This one is cool. You'll like this. Charlie Chaplin. Ah. 1914 Charlie Chaplin Kids uh, Auto Race. This is a real classic, so put that together with the box. Penny. Yes. Penny. That is the first Charlie Chaplin film where he portrayed the little tramp character, his iconic character on yes. film. That's what I remember it reading. Right super historic. Yeah, it was that's on my birthday, except I wasn't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'd look very good for your age, Paul. Yes. <laughs> so this one is uh, Reckless Rosie. 1929. 1929, Reckless oh, wow. Rosie. I forget the details on this one. Paul, look it up quick and tell us. I forget the details on this one. I know that it was important. Reckless Rosie. Reckless, Reckless Rosie. 19... 29. 1929, and that was uh, Amy, amazing Amy, that opened it. And every, it just says Reckless... I, I forget why I got it, and I know that uh, there's a history behind that one. Uh, oh, okay, so one of our birthday records. I'm getting ones that oh, it pays it up because it's a beautiful blue one. Reckless Rosie has to do with uh, showgirl and lingerie. What girl and what? Watch out! Showgirl and lingerie. So showgirl, it's for wow! Your, uh, burlesque show. Oh, excellent! So now I know. I'd love to see that. One. That <laughs> is going to be part of our adult show, and remember later to put yeah. down that it is risque, so that <laughs> I make sure to know that. But yeah, I'm trying to get every horoscope. Uh, so this is the Aries one. I've got an Aquarius on the way, of course, the fifth dimension. Uh, so put this together where it went. Who opened this? Oh, that was you. That was Kit who opened that. Um, yeah, I got Aquarius. I got Capricorn. I'm getting all the different ones. I got Leo. So uh, hopefully I'll get to everybody's birthday. These, are, who opened this? Me. You? This Maybe. is incredible. These are Scopy Tongs. Now you got culture. I finally got the one that I learned about for the first, the first Scopy Tone I ever heard about were a bunch of twist ones, and I blew this one, and I was like, oh man. So a friend of mine had another, and he said, let me dig it up, and I'll get it to you. The Dum Dum Twist by, if I recall correctly, Nancy Holloway. I'm going off memory, but I think I'm pretty sure that was correct. Yeah, this is the funniest. Uh, one of the funniest ones. And then for our friends at the uh, National Arts Club, uh, I, for Nina, she speaks German, and I got uh, La Dolce Vita, and this one is a Scopy tone, but it's not in French. This is one of the few German ones they made. So wow. I got that one just because of her. So it's, she spent my money. <laughs> so put that in there. Scopy tones are film jukeboxes, and thank God Annette opened up a picture of one. Finally, I have a perfect mm -hmm. advertisement for a Scopy Tone. So right. it did look like a laundry machine, like one of those two, you know, like 
double laundry machine. So that was Annette who opened that. This is gonna be a star of our show. This is gonna be right next to, someday I'm buying one of those. I've got an offer from a guy, a private seller, for 500 and they're co they cost 2,000. And I'm like, but I just have to get it from like the West Coast to the East Coast <laughs> and pay 500 bucks. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I might take a road trip, who knows. Uh, let's see, what is this now? New? Oh, I wrote it, I was smart enough to. This is uh, Soundy Memories, word on screen. So this one is uh, another words on screen one, bouncing ball video uh, film. And this one is called Memories, and I'm sure it has really cool songs on it. That's a good one for Amazing Amy, our contortionist. <laughs> I don't even have time to open any of myself because I'm like, yeah. you guys are getting really good at this. Oh, this is great. House in the Middle. Kit opened this one. Right. You'd love this. You yeah. are like perfect for this. This is a doomsday film. Oh, good. So this yeah. one was about like nuclear war and how to protect your house from a nuclear bomb. Yeah. yeah. So oh. the house in the middle survives the blast and all the other houses don't. It's about fire and nuclear stuff and about fire safety and all that other kind of stuff. But I'm like, it's really hysterical. Like they but they you know, there is some rationale to like uh -huh. building a house so that it has fire protection. So these are those early, you know, fire resistant stuff. But it's just really funny. And it says you don't want to be the house in the middle. I have Johnny Crash. Uh, I have a full collection of every single Johnny Cash Sun Records 45 except this one. <laughs> so now I have the full collection. We're missing like two or three, I heard. But mm -hmm. I, I wanted to get the full collection, and I had almost every one of them, and I was missing like two or three. And I said, why am I missing two or three? And this one, I got the picture disc one, so this will be the star of the Johnny Cash collection. And again, Ira is perfect for these. Uh, oh, this is Johnny so you. Cash, but but this is, everyone's perfect. opening up things that have to do with, that are perfect for them. This is my Alice in Wonderland birthday record. Yay, how perfect for Annette to open up. In fact, you kind of look like one of the characters, right? This, this, you could be on this cover. The Mad Teeth. You would be the Mad, yeah, yeah, the you'd Hatter. be the Mad Hatter, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, okay, so there's two 16 millimeter films that, I forgot your name. Miko. Miko. Mm -hmm. um, Phantom Fade, I'm not quite, I don't remember what that one was, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> and this one is, oh my God. The Magic of Milliers. Oh, that's great. So this one is George Milliers. It's an eight yeah. millimeter film, but it has the film that started me on the whole Milliers trip. Uh, trick, uh, trip. Um, although most people know Trip to the Moon, one of the films that I tried to get was Mermaid, and this has Mermaid on it. So I'm very proud of that one. That's a very cool one to get. Oh, another radium water thing. This is a full brochure on the radium water. So you can go get your radium bath. There you go, radium baths. Will Rogers, radium baths. And this actually tells you the contents of these radium water baths. And it gives you the prices and everything. So this is, uh, so if you want to get killed by radium, it'll cost a buck per bath. If you survive the first bath. So basically it's just a buck. But this is a really great brochure, it's huge. Isn't that cool? So this will give you all the information. This is part of our, once again, our quack medical show and our doomsday show. <laughs> that is really cool. I love that. Uh, and everyone's opening up stuff and I, that gives me some time to open one myself. Which no, is this. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I tried, I tried. Uh, oh my God, again, you open up something perfect for you. This is Thomas Edison's Let There Be Light. This is a documentary. By uh, uh, Thomas Edison. It's very, very early documentary. That's a really good one. It'll never so take put off. That... <laughs> I see the light. I'm going to do the really difficult one with the really cheesy scissors. Because that's how I roll. Dog tricks. Oh, that one finally arrived. Excellent. Yeah. The 16 millimeter film, Teach Your mm -hmm. Dog Tricks. This is once again for my for Neville of Limelight. So because he's working with dogs and we're doing our dog and cat show. This is a very cool one. Mm -hmm. 
That, that one I remember seeing some of the previews and it was very cool. What? This is not possible. That can't be in here. How is that possible? Oh yeah, it is. Oh. Wow, it's a pinhole camera. <laughs> Look at that. It's a make-it-yourself pinhole camera. Uh, Ridley's, which can, makes you confused with Ripley's. <laughs> Right. And they even have kind of a similar font, so they were so uh -huh. like playing games with that. But this Aww. is a really cool build it yourself um, pinhole camera. Very, very cool. I'm going to put that with the box. And put it over there. Oh, you opened up. Are you a Leo? No. <laughs> okay, well, now you are. <laughs> so this is the Leo birthday record. Actually, I have two Leos. This is a different one. I tried to get. Uh, I try to get all the different permutations. Eventually, we're going to have the world's largest collection of birthday record, birthday 